Phillips. Welcome to Guitar Century Presents Classical Guitar Tips. Today we're going to discuss right hand arpeggio patterns. So the first thing I'd like you to do is take your right hand, place your thumb on the fifth string, about the center of the sound hole, place your index finger on the third string over the rosette, the middle finger on the second string, and the ring finger on the first string. Now what I'd like you to do is, using free strokes, pluck with the thumb, then the index, then the middle, and then the ring. Now if you're paying close attention, you'll notice that I now have a closed fist. I'm not extending my fingers until the thumb re-articulates. So in other words, a full cycle would look like this. It's a two-part cycle. What I'm not doing is this. You see how I just extended my index finger and then extended my middle? That was too soon. It's too complicated. It involves uh, a lot of movements of the hand that are completely unnecessary and will interfere with your ability to pick up speed. So once again, the pattern P, I, M, A. another pattern. This pattern is P-I-A-M. So we're going to be playing the fifth string, the third, the ring finger on the first string, and then the middle finger on the second. And when the thumb place is placed on the fifth string, that's when the fingers will re-extend and prepare The next pattern we're going to look at is P-M-I-A. So the order of the strings will be 5, 2, 3, and 1. So once again, preparing your hand, planting it, the fingers properly on the strings. P, then M on the second string. I. Now, when the ring finger plays, you may want to extend I-M to prepare for the, the next stroke. Or you do have the option of having all of the fingers in and using the thumb as the release. Either way works very effectively. going to be P-M-A-I, which will be thumb, second string, first string, third string, P-M-A-I, P-M-A-I. And again, you'll notice I'm using the thumb as my release.
All right, we have two more patterns to go. The next one is going to be P A I M. So again, we plant our fingers on the strings. Thumb, ring, index, middle. pattern P A M I so again plant your fingers play thumb ring middle index thumb ring middle index again using the thumb to release the fingers Now, what I like to do when I practice these is to incorporate some kind of left hand pattern along with the right hand in order to give myself something interesting to do, more or less, uh, and encourage me to repeat that right hand pattern as much as possible. It really is a great workout. What I do is I do parallel thirds moving up the neck of the guitar. So I start with my first finger on the second string, first fret, the C my second finger on the third string, second fret, the A, and then I play my pattern, my first pattern, P-I-M-A, and I do it again. Then I move to the next two frets, second finger on the C sharp, second fret, third finger on the third string, third fret, the A sharp, two of those, then the next two frets, shift up to fourth position moving up continually not stopping in between one of the keys to the position shift is to do it while the thumb is playing the open fifth string and I continue to keep going up the neck And when I get to the top, I head back down again, work my way back down to first position, etc. Twice on each chord. Once I get back to first position, I do that same pattern of left hand chording with the next pattern of right hand, P-I-N, P-I-A-M, like so. Etc. And again, I repeat that with each of the different patterns, P-I-M-A, P-I-A-M, P-M-I-A, P-M-A-I, P-A-I-M, and P-A-M-I. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Classical Guitar Tips, and I hope you found it useful. Join me again next time, and until then, keep on practicing.